Okay, kiddos, you should have a paper that has a picture of a shoe. And what you would do is get mom and dad, or maybe if you're very careful, you can use a paper clip or something to make a hole right here and right here, and run a string up through the sides so that you can use this. I actually use yarn, but you can use whatever you want. And we're going to talk a few minutes about tying your shoes. It's something you should know how to do when you graduate from kindergarten. I hope you actually watch this video and try to do this. If you already know how to tie your shoes, that is so cool. I'm proud of you. You might not want to watch this, but if you do, I promise you there are some really beautiful things I want to show you at the end of this. Something beautiful God made. One of my favorite things in all the world. I'm going to show it to you so don't go away. All right. If you have run these through, okay, if you have not, you need to stop the video and get mom and dad to do this for you. It can be anything. You can put anything in there. You can even get one of your shoes and take the shoelace off and put it in here, but that might be a whole much for mom and dad. It'd be easier just to get yourself a string or a piece of yarn. Lots of things can go in here. Okay, the first thing you do if you're ready is you take the two strings and you twist them about to tie a knot. Okay, that is the first most important part of tying a shoe. If you do not tie, if you do not go over and tie one knot here, just one, it will not work. You have to have this knot. It's like the mountain you build on, okay? I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this. I've been told this is easiest, so I'm going to try this one first, okay? In this hand, you make a circle, and in this hand, you make a circle. You have to have extra hanging off. But if you can loop them in your fingers like this to make a little circle, and you can knot the circles just like you did the first knot down here. You pull them over each other and pull the sides straight. And there you've tied your shoe. Let me do it again for you, okay? Don't get frustrated. You might want to stop and redo it over and over. You can stop this video anytime you like. Okay? To tie a knot, you twist two, I wish this would hold still, you twist the two over each other, okay, you take the two and twist them and pull it, okay, you're going to do the same thing with the two circles you're going to make, some say they're bunny ears, you make a bunny ear here and you make a bunny ear here, Okay, you have extra hanging down below. And then you twist the bunny ears just like you twisted the knot. Okay, and you have a bow. Alright, so you start with your knot. Bunny ear. Bunny ear. Or you could say lassos, two lassos if you're a boy. Then you twist the bunny ears around each other and pull them out. Two loops pulled through. And then you have a tied shoe, which is so cool. If you like that way, you should probably stop the video, go back, and do it with me a few more times. Now, if that way didn't work for you and you want to try a different way, I have a different way. But I don't want you getting frustrated. If you can't get it, that's fine. Just keep practicing on this a few times a day. And probably by Friday you'll have this, okay? You're going to start with the same thing. You're going to have that same knot for this other way of shoe tying. You're going to have that same knot, okay? This time you're only going to make one loop like this. You're going to pinch it because you don't want it to escape. It's like a nasty snake. You're going to pinch it so it doesn't go anywhere. 
and you're going to take this other lace and you're going to bring it around that nasty old snake and you are going to take take it around the nasty old snake and there's a hole right here you see it you're going to bring that lace through that hole and you're going to squeeze the snake ah. and here you have it okay Oh, that looks like it's a little harder. We'll try that one more time, okay? Here you have your loop. And this time we're going to squeeze it like a mean snake. You don't want it to get away. You're going to wrap the other lace around the snake's head and push the other lace through the hole under the snake. You're going to pull it tight. Ah, job well done. Boys, you might like this way a little better because it's not bunny, it's a snake. I'll do it one more time, okay? You have your original knot. You have your mean snake that you're pinching. Your other one goes around the mean snake and through the hole. <sighs> Caught the snake. Did you do it? I think you might have done it. If you didn't do it, that's okay. But you must practice, okay? And don't get frustrated. You can watch this video over and over. Now, are you the type that likes the two that get twisted around each other? Wink. Or are you the type that likes to make the loop and squeeze the snake? The lasso the snake and put it right under that hole. Pow! Done. Either way, I know you can learn how to tie a shoe. Now, I promised you that at the end of the tying the shoe video, I was going to show you some beautiful things that God created. Some of the most beautiful things in all the world that Miss Paris just enjoys so very much. I wanted to share with you on this video. I have to reach down off my couch and get it. You hear my couch is very creaky. This is one of the most beautiful things that I believe that God created. Let's see. My poor creaky old couch. I'm sorry it's so loud. This is one of my favorite butterflies. It's a blue butterfly. And I got this when I was in Papua New Guinea as a missionary and it hangs on my wall. I just just love it. Look at these beautiful wings. I'm going to hold it up for you to see, okay? Don't you think that's just beautiful? God would make something so big and beautiful. Look at this is it compared to my hand. Okay, so it's it's a pretty big size butterfly. I'd love to get a microscope and just look real closely at those wings. They're so intricate and beautifully made. Of course God would make something so beautiful to dazzle our eyes, but that's not all. <clears throat> I also got some more. These ones are from um, the Philippines. And yes, if you're wondering, they are real. There's another kind of a blue butterfly. It's different than the other one. But it's very pretty. I do love butterflies. I love butterflies. I love birds. I love nature. And just the wonderful works of our Lord Jesus, who's handiwork we see around us all the time. We do not have to wonder where these came from. God in his infinite wisdom, he made these. And in glory, he created them to show his handiwork to the world. How can we wonder if there is a God or not? We can't wonder if there's a God because we see it all around us, everything. Everything that we see reminds us of God. 
So this butterfly I actually got here in America, but I do not believe it's from America. I purchased it in America, but the cool thing about this is you can look at both sides. So let's see if I can get my phone down. Hold on a second. I'm going to jostle you a second. <clears throat> I'm going to bring you real close to this one because you can see the back and that's really cool. You can see the back side of its wings and not just the front side. And it's glued on there. That's why you see that little bit. It's glued on the glass. Look at those spots. Isn't that beautiful? If you look really closely, you can see that all their wings are made up of tiny, teeny, teeny little squares that make that beautiful design. Can you see that in there? You see it, how it has these lines? Isn't that beautiful? Silky. It's amazing. I've had these butterflies for many years. They're many, many years old. You can't hardly see the same circles on the back side, can you? This is the front side of the butterfly. We saw circles on the back that you can't see on the front. Circles in the back. You can barely see them, but now on this side you have this other stuff. Isn't that amazing? I'm going to get closer to some of my other ones too, so you can look at them a little better. <clears throat> Let's see here. It's behind glass, so it makes it hard to get too close. How could anyone see a butterfly and say there is no God? We know better, don't we? God said he created these things. And I believe he put butterflies on the world for a very special purpose. And every time I see a butterfly, I just smile. I know my God made them for us. Look how beautiful that blue is. Isn't that the most beautiful blue? And now you can see the difference between that blue one and this blue one. Quite a difference, isn't there? Even the blues are different. And even in its body, it has that green color. Can you believe that came from a caterpillar? Yeah, we were going to do a caterpillar experiment in our room before the virus came. Isn't that beautiful? You can kind of see those squares in there. You need to look up on YouTube with your parents' help videos about butterfly wings and it will show you how amazingly intricate each butterfly wing is. Alright, kiddos, I hope you enjoyed looking at my beautiful butterflies and I hope you have a beautiful day.